and a good Saturday morning. It is just before 6 a.m. We're continuing to track some showers and some thunderstorms out there. Nothing severe at this time, but there is a lot of lightning, especially into western portions of the area. So let's jump right into it for us. Here's a look at the latest radar. Again, the time is 5.55 a.m. as you are watching this. And there is a whole lot of lightning. Uh, this is over by LaRue and Pointer. Pointer. This is, again, in the parts of southern Henderson County. And then also some lightning heading towards Fosterville and Brushy Creek, Elmwood, and Elmtown as well. There's also some heavier rain out by Harmony. And we've also got some heavy rain associated with the cold front itself over in Gun Barrel City and entering the Canton area. Some lightning with that, but it's not as intense as the storms down in southern Henderson and northern Anderson counties. So if there's going to be a severe storm, uh, we'll be uh, watching this area closely. I'm going to circle the area uh, right now for us that we will be watching with for the next couple of hours here for the best chance of seeing an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm. Even then, the threat still remains pretty low for us and uh, damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour remains the primary threat along with quarter-sized hail. Tornado can't be entirely ruled out, but the chances of seeing that are pretty low. Switch it over to our temperatures right now. Again, you can see where that cold front is starting to move on in, where winds are turning to that northerly direction and things are cooling down. 55, your temperature in Sulphur Springs. Mineola, you're at 68 just before 6 a.m. Within the next few minutes, probably by the time you watch this video, it will be cooling off pretty quickly there. It's still in the upper 60s, though, as you head into portions of Deep East Texas. Let's go on to the low level moisture here you can see the higher dew points are in a deep east texas mainly south of interstate 20 that's where the best moisture is and so that's where the best instability is as well and that's why we'll be tracking that area for the potential for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm our latest future cast brings that blob of rain and storms through areas south of interstate 20 for the next several hours here by 7 a.m the heavy rain is tracking along the line from linden down through longview henderson and then into nacogdoches and Lufkin towards 8 a.m. And then we'll see the rain continue primarily for deep east Texas after about 9 o'clock. The chance for an isolated strong to severe storm by 10 a.m. Saturday remains in our deep east Texas counties. And then towards 11 o'clock in the morning, the severe weather threat remains for southern Angelina, southern San Augustine, and Sabine counties. And then towards noon and 1 o'clock, the severe weather threat comes to an end. Now we'll see some rain out behind the cold front, but nothing really too heavy there. And again, the main story behind that cold front is the cooling temperatures. Here's a look at what we can expect temperature-wise. By 9 o'clock in the morning, we're starting to drop to the 50s in Tyler, Gilmer, and Athens. And then we'll see those 50s uh, down further south towards your 3 o'clock hour in the afternoon. So going to be a whole lot colder this afternoon than early this morning. So if you are uh, heading out the door early this morning, it's going to be warm. But make sure to bring some sweaters because by the afternoon, it will be a whole lot cooler out there by eight o'clock tonight temperatures mainly sitting out into the 40s and even in the 30s as well and that will continue through your nine o'clock hour for your sunday morning lows we are looking to drop into the middle to upper 30s out there so it will be quite cold for our sunday morning this cold front bringing the end to our streak of some record high temperatures across east texas again we'll continue to track these storms through the rest of these early morning hours nothing severe at this time but we'll continue to keep an eye on it